And now on Art Street, we feature the largest and oldest organization of working artists in Broward County. The Broward Art Guild has actually been promoting artistic growth since the 1940s. Urban Dwell in Wilton Manors may look like a regular furniture store, but it also doubles as an art gallery, thanks to the Broward Art Guild. Today, it's hosting the Guild's Think Pink exhibition. The idea of this show was um, to represent the color pink, which is the color they use for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we did our uh, opening reception in conjunction with the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. And we wanted to kind of pair up with an organization to kind of have art serve a bigger purpose, you know, on some level, and to, you know, just to be more, you know, more involved with, with the community. The idea of having artists try and explore various themes using the color pink as their predominant color uh, was, uh, was fascinating, and it gave them a new challenge. Gerard says that when they bring art to the community by showcasing it in different venues around town, everyone benefits. Like a program we have called Art Around Town, which is putting art like in coffee house. We have a medical facility that we put art in, and it, it just it brings art to the people, so to speak. You know, so it, it it's not just that you have to go out of your way to come and look at the art. It's kind of around where you live. Creative thinking like this helps give local artists more opportunities to show their work. We have a really diverse membership of really talented artists and people at different levels of their of their craft. You know and we try to give them a, a springboard for their career. So those artists that are developing their career, we give them an opportunity to display their work. And the fact that those are juried exhibitions where a judge is actually deciding what comes in and what doesn't, what gets prizes and what doesn't, gives you sort of that professional feedback. Local artists also get support through educational programs that help them understand how art works as a business. But we try to give people the opportunity to get comfortable with dealing with people at an opening reception and understanding you know, the jurying process and, and all that and presenting your work professionally. It's very, very hard to start out. In fact, it's the most uh, difficult thing in the world to put something, uh, something on the wall and have other people evaluate it. Uh, so this gives uh, artists the opportunity of understanding What's going to be involved with that? What are, the, what are the opportunities? What are the prospects? We oftentimes ignore the business part of it because it's not as much fun as <laughs> painting and going out and creating it, but it's a part of it. And so they help with, you know, some learning in that regard also. Winning an award for your art is always a positive experience. Nancy Herkert won Best of Show in Think Pink. My piece here has, is called Paper Doll. And in it are images of myself and my sister and some other members of my family. Um, it incorporates lace. It has digital imagery that were done with image transfers. She finds inspiration in surprising ways. The current work that I'm doing right now is called the Lost Dress Series. It started several years ago. I was out in Arizona. I also take some photographs and I stopped on the side of the road and saw this dress that had been abandoned on the side of the road. And it was just a quick snapshot. It really wasn't anything that I thought of as being important, but of all the pictures that I took on the trip, it was the one that I remembered the most. And as time went on, I thought more and more about what did that dress represent being left behind on the side of the road. She uses an unusual mix of materials in her work. I put lace in there, I put stitchery, I actually hand stitch on the paintings with, at right now with red thread because that has symbolism. Why red thread? The red thread is significant because first of all thread is in itself is significant but then the color red has many meanings that go with a woman and how uh, a woman's life is and so I see that as being important to me. Gerard, who is also an artist, has a piece in the show as well. While it didn't win a ribbon this time, he enjoyed working on it. You know, I just did a, a very fun, you know, cat. It was a crazy expression on his face, very pop, you know, user-friendly as it were. Across town, photographer and Art Guild president Greg Lindeblom is meeting with Bonnie and a gallery owner. This is one of the favorite parts of his job. A good deal of my time is spent introducing artists to other people in the arts community. And I, I find that a, a, a very, uh, I, I enjoy that a great deal.
This gallery is hosting an art guild exhibit on abstractions. Best of show went to this painting. Artists have plenty of opportunities like these to showcase their work throughout the year. Well, we have about 12 jury shows a year. We have two quick draw events that we do, usually one in the fall, one in the spring. And, uh, and then if we have any other you know, workshops and classes that we offer throughout the year. So it keeps us pretty busy. I mean, we try to do basically a show a month, an exhibit a month. Artist and Broward Art Guild member Bonnie Shapiro is appreciative of the support. The Guild has been a great experience for me. Not only have I grown as an artist, but you know, I've met some really wonderful people who have really guided me on that journey. And um, it's just been a great experience all around. She's currently working on a series of landscapes. Meanwhile, the Guild always has something going on, and there are so many ways to get involved, including volunteering. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for people that if they want to get involved, they can. And they can always buy art. <laughs> The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.